Why are you betraying your people just because you want to continue to live in luxury? Something that one day, like I have said, when you close your eye, you will forget about all those things. You won't even know if all those things existed. You don't even know where you are. Even if they take your remains, they pieces you like meat, they butcher you, pack you, throw you into the ocean, or burn you to ashes. You don't even know. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as on I know, <laughs> not me, <laughs> be that person where they always they come out, they talk the truth. I don't devote my life, say, na truth, I want to talk for this country. Because I came to realize that you say the truth, you did not say the truth. What happened to the person that said the truth will also happen to the person that refused to say the truth. So it is better you say the truth and free your mind without guilt than not to say the truth and you will live in guilt. Before I continue, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and support this channel in any way you can. If you did not do that, it means <laughs> you are among the people that is watching me. You are among my village people. <laughs> you are among all these people in my family that doesn't want me to succeed. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> why we talk about the truth? We also do it comically because it all works with our play. Make just a dog boy. <laughs> so, my people, the issue we are to talk about here now is uh, the issue of the Biafra people. There is something the governor of uh, Anambra State is doing that I don't like. And I believe it is not only me who doesn't like it. This is a man that is supposed to remove the tears in people's eyes. This is a man that's supposed to make sure that the people are living well. But opposite has not become the case. It's not today we all know that the East Southeasterners are fighting for Biafra, fighting for the freedom of their sovereign nation called Biafra. And as a result of this, Anambra in particular, to honor this their fight for Biafra, to make it remarkably known to the government of Nigeria. They have decided to take every Monday hmm, as a seat at home. Voluntarily, they decided to do it in protest against Biafra still remaining under Nigeria government. Who is to say they are doing this to remind Nigeria that we are not happy that you people are keeping our leader, their leader Maze Namdekano in detention and thereby denying Biafra its freedom. Now, the reason I came here to talk to us about this is actually because of Governor Chukuma Soludo. Hmm? Soludo, why are you tormenting your people? Why are you trying to use force to stop your people? from observing every Monday seat at home that they all voluntarily decided to do so that governments could by so maybe one day hear their voice and releasing them the canon and also consider to grant Biafra its freedom. Why have you decided to be puppets to Nigerian government against your people? There is a say that no matter how worse a brother or a relative is something will happen you will remember that the most important people in your life are your people your brothers and sisters and the governor soludo the people of anambra are your first family they are your first brothers and sisters why have i chosen to forsake them why are you using your power as a governor to frustrate these people why are you saying that anybody that you see closing his or her store on Monday again as an observation of the Monday seat at home that that person's store will be locked permanently and with some severe punishment. Why? Why do you have to act as if you are God? Saludo. Remember when you were coming to vote, uh, to when you were coming as a governor, you were campaigning. This wasn't what you promised the people. 
you promise that you promise them that when you become the governor of Anambra State, you are going to transform Anambra to Qatar to Dubai. But today, as I speak, <laughs> Governor Saludo, Anambra is one of the dirtiest states in Nigeria. If you go to Wanecha, you will see all the uh, gutters. All of them are filled up with dirt. Everywhere, dirt, you will be hearing smell, different type of photo. You are not doing anything to eradicate this kind of mess. Out of school children everywhere in Anambra State, you are not doing anything to make sure that you send the children to school. Many people are homeless, roaming around the streets. You are not doing anything to take care of these people. Orphanages are there. Young girls who are orphans are there, roaming around, doing hookup, involving themselves into a shower business. You people are not doing anything to solve all this problem. There are a lot of major problems that you as a governor and your cabinet members supposed to do that are your primary duties. You are not doing it. Instead, you choose to channel your energy to fight against your own people who are asking for freedom. Does it mean you enjoy the way the indigos are being marginalized in Nigeria? Did you enjoy the way they are being discriminated in Nigeria? Did you enjoy the negligence that Nigerian government are melting upon your people? Do you think that the money you are making as a governor is all it is? Or don't you think that one day you will close your eye and you may, there will be no more? You will breathe no more. Wish everybody will one day close eye and breathe no more. All these political benefits you are getting that is making you to betray your own people. Do you think when you close your eye and stop breathing that you will remember all these benefits again? They will all be vanity upon vanity. So why can't you fight for your people? So that even when you are no more, history will remain that ah, when Soludo was the governor of Anambra State, through him, you know, the fault of Biafra was heard. The government of Nigeria began to hearken to the voice of Biafrans in seeking for their freedom more than the way they have been hearkening to it. Same way I am speaking to Governor Soludo. <laughs> it's the same way I am speaking to every Southeastern governor and representatives in the government house. The other day, I you told us how when you talk about Biafrans, some of these Northerners, the Yoruba, those people, they will ask you to go and meet your senators, the Igbo senators, the Igbo House representatives and all of that, and tell them to bring the discussion in the Senate House. They keep challenging the Indigos with this because they know that the Igbo politicians are all biased. And to what extent, I ask, is it because of money? Are you people poor? Obviously, no. Are you people looking for greener pasture? Obviously, no. Are you people looking for money to live a luxury life? Obviously, no, because you people have all these things in abundance. Then why are you betraying your people just because you want to continue to live in luxury? Something that one day, like I have said, when you close your eye, you will forget about all those things. You won't even know if all those things existed. You don't even know where you are. Even if they take your remains, they pieces you like meat, they butcher you, pack you, throw you into the ocean, or burn you to ashes. You don't even know. I know that you people, you politicians, you must have gone to Beria. You have seen a dead body, how it looks like, how lifeless, no matter the caliber of person you are. When you are gone, you are gone. You will lie lifeless. Nothing about you is useful anymore. You become a useless soul, a useless body. You people don't think about this. So please, Governor Soludo and every Eastern Governor, hmm? South Eastern Governors, the Indibo Governors and Representatives, I want you all to stop betraying yourselves. Stop betraying yourself. Biafra deserves to be Biafra. You understand me? So that is what I said. I have to come and tell us in this very place. Now, to add more to it, let me read this little article. 
for us and don't go nowhere if you go somewhere which means you are one of those my family people that is bewitching me <laughs> that does not want me to succeed you, you i must succeed though yeah i must succeed you understand so please allow me to succeed eh? so if you are not among those people who doesn't want me to succeed so listen to this article is actually a press release from the ipob directing it to governor soluto now i read to us ipob press release indigenous people of biafra ipob calls on soludo and his cronies to be careful over continuous intimidation of biafrans in anambra state we the great and noble family of the indigenous people of biafra under the command of maze Nambekano, wish to inform governor chukuma soludo not to underestimate the deep affection biafrans the deep affection Biafrans in the 13 contiguous states and especially those in Kor Ibolan and Diaspora have for the leader of Maze Namdekano. Dear Governor, please know that the people staying at home on Mondays are doing so voluntarily, not because of any threat from inconsequential individuals or coercive actions by any actors. Ask anybody, including those purportedly enforcing the order. They will tell you that the release of Maze Nnamdekano is all they require to stop. Biafrans see this act of self-sacrifice on Mondays as the only way to register their protest and displeasure at the unwarranted and continued unlawful detention of Maze Nnamdekano, which Southeast governors, of which you are one, is actively aging and abetting. The same people you are asking to abandon their quiet protests on Mondays are the same people you and your fellow governors from the Southeast have repeatedly disappointed in your calculated failure to honor your word to visit the Nigerian president to formally request for the release of our leader. It's nearly six months now since you and your fellow governors resolved in your mirroring at Enugu to visit President Tinubu to effect the release of Onyen Domaze Nnamdekano. But to date, nothing has happened. Insecurity in your own in our own beautiful state of Anambra is still raging and you know that the only thing that can bring this sorry state of affairs to an immediate heart is the release of Maze Nnamdekano, yet you have failed to activate this solution. In fairness to you, you tried to appeal to the controllers of the last regime but they failed to see reason with you due to their pathological hatred of the Igbo race. It's also on record that Southeast governors have failed to honor their pledge to Igbo people worldwide to visit the presidency to press to press for the release of our leader as long as this remains the state of affairs most people will choose monday as the day to protest their injustice against the unlawful detention of our leader manze nandekano you southeast governors are playing politics with this issue of monday seat at home and they are attending insecurity across our land because you all underestimate the deep-seated anger and resentment our people feel at the impotency of the leadership to make a simple trip to Abuja. Deep down in your hearts, you people, governors, are directly benefiting financially from the chaos and mayhem, dealt and misery, bedvilling, bedvilling the ancient and sacred land of the Igbo race. Some of you governors who are happily enjoying inflated security budget on the back of insecurity in our land, occasioned by the illegal incarceration of our leader, are to blame for the raging insecurity in our land because you are the direct beneficiaries of insecurity. Those that choose to sit at home on Mondays are exercising their rights to peaceful protest. You are not in a position to sanction them when they have not broken any laws. Those choosing a seat at home are doing so because Mazen and Dekano are nobody else. You cannot stop it by force. Comrade Emma, powerful media and publicity secretary for IPOB, wrote. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, everything I have read here connect with what I have been telling you before I started reading it. You see, what Governor Soludo is doing is absolutely wrong. I totally condemn it. These are people who are protesting peacefully. We all understand in this country that when some people come out to protest, you know, if you say they come out now and their populations to protest on the road, you know, Nigerian government will release soldiers and the police upon them, security agencies against them. And many casualties will be happen. Okay, these people said, okay, we don't need this. What will happen? On our own voluntarily, voluntarily, let us take Monday as a seat at home day. No shop. We will not market. We will not buy. We will not sell. We will not do business on that very Monday. Let us use it as our own 
peaceful protest for Nigerian government to release their leader, Maze Namdekano, from the fraudulent, illicit, or rather illegal uh, detention that they have kept him since 2021. This is what your people, Soludo, are fighting for. And this is the simple reason why they have, you know, decided to use Monday as a seat at home, you know, in order to observe a protest for Namdekano to be released. And you see that this is bad. People that are not committing havoc, they have not disobeyed the law. They are not committing crime in any way. They are not constituting nuisance by it. They are doing this peacefully, staying in their own homes calmly. Their only crime is that they refuse to come and do business. When does it become forced for somebody to come and do his or her business? So Ludo, as you are now, any day you choose not to go to office, am I going to come and force you to come to the office? Will any citizen of Anambra state come and force you to go to the office? Why are you forcing the people of Anambra state to all make sure they all come to start to do business on Monday? <laughs> if they choose to rest on Monday, how is it your business, Governor Soludo? This is what I call power postigation. Power is postigating on these Nigerian politicians. They don't know how to use power. They abuse power bluntly, vehemently. In fact, your people, uh, they need to conk you. In fact, Governor Soludo, come closer. Let me give you conk, boy. Hey, yeah, have you been giving that old man conk? If I give it to you, you will understand that you are not doing the right thing. You need to rethink. These are your people. Do what is right, Governor Soludo. Hey, this is how we talk here. We say the truth <laughs> comically. <laughs> you understand? Say the truth, you die. Don't say the truth, you die. All die, not die. Eh? <laughs> but I'm not going to die. I will leave till you, my chief will call me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, eh? like I said before, Avec, you have watched this and I know you like it. If you have watched it to this very moment, what are you supposed to do? Hmm? I believe my rewards for what I have done is for you to subscribe to my channel. You hit the notification button there. Hit it. Share my videos. Comment. Like. Support this channel in any way you can. And I love you. Mm -hmm. Always stand for what is right. Because the good will always prevail over the bad.